Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a promo Friday. It's preseason Friday week number three, and we are hoping for new cards in packs today with batch number two. Now, of course, disclaimer, I'm recording this video a little bit early, so I may not have seen a loading screen or any of the leaks or any of the information about what could happen today on Friday, but I want to make this video ahead of time because I still feel like, feel like there's a lot to talk about and a lot to expect and still things that we think we see right now in FIFA with the way things are going that could just make for a more hype Friday today than this previous two weeks has been specifically to the preseason batch one cards being in packs and only 100, not 150 or 200 plus. So I want to talk about that potential today in this video and also talk about the new FIFA 23 rewards that we would expect to see because because I do think more are coming, even though we've had two solid weeks, especially a 50k pack during week two. Will eSports top that during week three? I feel like that's pretty impossible. Now, of course, we will have some more SBC content released today as well in FIFA 22 related to the transfer SBC cards. We have three big leaked players. Which one could drop today? We'll talk about that in this video, of course. So if you're excited for a promo Friday, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's talk first about batch number two. Now, in yesterday's video, I mentioned that I could see batch number two, including some foot captains, some foot fantasy, foot birthday, and some of the future stars cards because... EA Sports extended all of the footies SBC cards like Salah, Mendy, Griezmann, Neymar, and Alan St. Maximin all are out for another three weeks in total. And that makes me think that EA have heard our cries for uh, the lack of the supply of those cards that they have required. And it really makes me think that since they've, since they've extended these, they want to give time to people to get those done and that they're going to actually give out the cards that people need to get those done via the packs and that's why I'm really thinking that preseason squad number two or batch number two if you will will probably include some of those special cards in packs and if it is it should look a lot like footies batch number three that had all of this insane shapeshifters and all of the big boy cards inside of it also a lot of really good team of the seasons if you think about what we have right now in the first batch of the preseason promo. A lot of your TOTS cards that are inside of this uh, batch one are just not that good, right? You've got some of the lower tier TOTS cards, you know, cards like the, I think Declan Rice is in packs right now, but you don't have a lot of the top tier top TOTS cards, right? I mean, some of these cards we have seen packed over and over time and again for the past couple of weeks, even like Suarez is in this batch number one. But again, as we were taking a look at it earlier uh, on this week, some of the TOTS cards from top five leagues, maybe like Joao Felix uh, is not in packs right now at the moment. I do believe that Benzema is, so it's not really showing me a lot of good uh, items right now as I go to search this stuff. But TOTS, Mane, uh, you think about some of the other top rated team of the season cards that are not in packs right now and there's a lot of lower rated ones like Rodri and Cody and um you know some of those like I feel like I've been packing a lot more 90 to 91 rated tots cards in the past week or two than I have been like 93 94 95 rated tots cards from the top five leagues like Lucas Paqueta tots right now not in packs that sort of thing right I feel like that they should return back to packs the same high rated cards that were in packs during footies batch three 200 special cards is what I'd be looking for. It could be 150. It could be 200 somewhere uh, in that range. Definitely an upgrade over 100 though. I feel like it has to be. And again, that kind of would coincide with how they did things during the footies promo as well as they went with footies batch one had 100 cards, then 150, then 200. So I hope they just skip 150 in total. Just go to 200 for preseason batch two. But I could also see that not being the case and them only giving us 150 cards. We will have to see. But I do have a lot of hype for that because, again, if the cards in packs get better and if we have all the big boys back in packs and including some of these other promo cards that we need for the footies SBCs, that would just bring so much more hype back to the game. You think about 87 plus player picks. You think about the, they would probably drop a preseason batch two player pick on Friday today with that new batch coming out. That SBC would be pretty hyped. You think about the 85 times 10, of course, a lot of people would want to do 85 times 10s. If there's more special cards and better special cards in them, they would start to look a lot like they did a couple of weeks ago when you were 
like getting one gold card per 85 times 10 or maybe zero instead of getting half of your pack being gold cards like it is with batch one being in packs. So it would just be so much more fun to craft, so much more fun to get SBCs done. And if you're crafting big icon SBCs, you need that extra fodder. All the extra special cards and packs will help you get these big boy SBCs done. Or if you're still trying to craft footies SBCs, that will help you as well. So really, really hopeful for a footies batch two that includes a lot of big cards today on Friday. Now let's talk more Friday content, right? SBCs. We have three, and I've only seen three of these leaks right now. These are the three that are available at the time of me posting this video. Um, I don't know if there's any other ones added, but we have three big players, and I feel like all of these are SBCs. I don't think that any of these would be objectives and if you think about it last week uh the gabriel jesus was never leaked and he was dropped as an objective same thing with lukaku week one no leak for either of those guys and they both dropped an objective so potential for no leak at all uh to be the case for our objective player which we don't have one right now again as i'm recording this that may have changed on thursday but for on friday dibala sterling and mane are the three cards in question if I had to guess, I think that they would drop Mane today because they dropped Holland over Renato Sanchez last Friday. I think it's between Mane and Dybala for me, but I think Mane might get the edge. Former Liverpool player transferring to Bayern does, of course, link to Gravenberch that a lot of people did. Um, you know, I think they could make him 99. That'd be sick if they did. But between these three cards, Mane, Dybala, and Sterling, I do expect one of them to drop today. Again, the same kind of general drop release schedule ea has had in the past couple weeks is like one player friday one saturday one sunday that last week we had Diego Carlos on Monday, but we only have three leaked right now. So probably one of these per day during the weekend. And I would just guess that Mane would be today on Friday. We'll just have to see if that plays out in that manner or not. But that would be my guess and my vote. But any of these three could realistically drop. It could go Sterling because he's Premier League who knows but i would expect one of those three to drop today on friday of course as i mentioned that footies batch one player pick that we had i'm pretty sure this dropped uh the second week of batch one being out hopefully we get a batch two player pick today this one was pretty cheap what was it an 84 rated 83 squad 70 chemistry I would hope that a batch two player pick uh, has less chemistry and maybe is a one of four and you know they could make it a little bit more expensive if they're going to put better cards in packs. So that's just one thing I would say. Uh, but, you know, for SBCs in general, for a Friday, promo Friday this late in the game, I got to take a look at SBC fodder and, and talk about this because, again, like we mentioned, everything today revolves around what's in packs and what changes with that. If there's hype and if there's really good cards in packs, people are going to want to go out and do SBCs. I think you would see your SBC fodder rising up. That's a common trend that we have seen on Fridays in the past couple of weeks is, Thursdays, we see the prices go down with marquee matchups, with the uh, division rivals rewards and season rewards from today. People get that fodder supply. They don't need to go out and buy as much, and it, get, it gets packed tradable, so it goes down. But then on Fridays, if the content is really good, it goes up because we're still not at a place where we're getting tradable promo pack supply. They're not running lightning rounds anymore. Unless they added some pack to the code or they dropped that like 83 plus times five tradable again, I, I don't see a lot of these cards going down after content on Friday today. I think they would just more likely go up if, again, if the content is good, if the players in the batch are good. That is the key. And if they're not that good, you probably won't see as many rises. But if they are, you will see bigger rises on all of the fodder. But specifically, I like the 83 still, the 84s. 83s to 86s, just because they're so stinking cheap. I mean, let's be honest, it's crazy how cheap they are. So that's kind of all the FIFA 22 content that I'm expecting for today on Friday. Like I mentioned, uh, we would have a, a preseason transfer SBC, probably an objective player as well. Along with those objectives, our cup is expiring. Now, that'd be more of a Saturday type thing to get released because I'm pretty sure the preseason cup, yeah, it expires on Saturday. So the friendly mode expires for this as well. So I'm really curious to see how the objectives look and what they do that. Will they drop another cup? Is it Are they done with those? That sort of thing. I feel like they might not be done, but who knows? Now, when we talk about more objective content, of course, we're going to think about the FIFA 23 rewards because I do not believe these are done yet. And here's why I don't believe they are. The kickstart friendly mode is still available. Of course, this one was the big one from last week 
where you got the 50,000 coin pack for completing all of those games. And if you actually go into the friendly modes, that kickstart objective mode friendly is going to be there still for another couple of days. It's on, it's on 10 days right now. So, I mean, this is still going to be available here for at least another week plus when we get to on here on Friday. So that would make me think that EA is going to drop more rewards. This might be the last week though. If that kickstart objective is going away, even though we still have more weeks left of this preseason promo, we think, uh, then it just might be like the last week for the FIFA 23 rewards. So I'm really curious to see how week three pans out because week one to week two was such a big upgrade. You went from a two rare gold players pack to a 50K pack being the biggest reward. Of course, week one, you had the three players packs from each of the top five leagues. I thought that was a pretty good reward. Not too bad, if I'm being honest. I'm also a little bit curious. They gave us a coin boost last week. I really hope they give us a pack like a consumables pack that gives us position modifier cards because we're going to need so many of those at the beginning of FIFA 23 that it would be so nice to get some of those given to us via these packs. So that's one of kind of the one things that probably is flying under the radar for most people that I would like to see. But that's the kind of what I'd watch out for. A 50k pack last week was just crazy. It seemed like so much. But and I'm maybe maybe they do another 50k pack this week. And if they do, it's absolutely worth grinding. Uh, we'll have to see what those are, of course, to kind of decide that later on. But a 50k pack again, that's such a huge pack at the early stage of FIFA 23 that it is a tremendous, tremendous. W. So definitely watch out for that. And of course, today, remember, it is a new weekend league schedule. It is going to be, of course, it'll be season nine. And the weekend league has changed. Now, I don't know the start time, but the end time is the exact same as it was during team of the season. If you guys remember playing weekend league during tots, weekend leagues ended late Tuesday night, early uh, or early Wednesday morning, depending on what your time frame was. Basically, take the normal end of Weekend League and, you know, it's extended 48 hours. That's an incredible, incredible time, uh, extra time to play Weekend League. If you have a busy weekend, you can take your time and get your games in on Monday and Tuesday, which is an incredible dub. Um, and, and you can even not even start your Weekend League games until that time of the week if you didn't want to. So watch out for that today. I don't know about the start time, though. The end time we know is 48 hours extended. The start time, if you remember during team of the season, the weekend league didn't actually start until after 6 p.m. content, which was, which was a bit of an L. So hopefully they keep the start time the same early Friday, but then allow us to play the extra 48 hours on the end so that it ends on late Tuesday, early Wednesday morning, depending on your time rate frame. So that's kind of what I'm a bit curious about to see, but I know there's not as many people grinding weekend league, but hey, if you're playing, there's no shame because we have just gotten all these insane cards in the past couple of weeks with footies guys crafting these transfer SBCs. So if you're going to go and craft these SBCs, you got to go use them in the game and have some fun in the end game with these incredibly cracked juiced stat cards. So I don't hate it if you're playing weekend league. I actually kind of rate it because you have some passion and you want to use the cards that you have used and, and, and grinded for uh, via all this fodder that you've turned in and packs you've opened, right? You got to use the cards that you've grinded for. So I completely understand and wanted to go for those and I don't hate on it whatsoever. But again, like I said, really for today on Friday, it is all about the pack rewards. It's all about what is in packs. Hopefully we see a loading screen uh, or we saw a loading screen yesterday. I don't even know. I'm recording this on Wednesday. Like I said, again, late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning before Thursday content. So I'm just trying to take a stab at things because I really have to see how this is going, but I might've missed out on a few little details if there was some leaks yesterday on Thursday. But Again, fill those in where they're applicable. Maybe an objective card was released. Maybe something about preseason uh, batch two or maybe even something about the rewards for FIFA 23. Some info on that would help out for sure for today on Friday. But again, it's all about the cards and packs. Hopefully we get a nice transfer SBC today and some nice FIFA 23 rewards. So that's kind of your promo Friday in one video from TFA. If you did enjoy today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.